Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. How do you add weight to a racket where there are many different options and ways how to do it? In a previous video, I talked about this uh, new addition to the market, the Kitana Copper Tape, uh, that is uh, a good substitute to lead tape. In, in that video, I cut myself on the tape. That was more me than the tape. I actually haven't had any problems with cutting myself due to this uh, copper tape. Uh, it's a little bit firmer than lead tape, but it works just as well. Adhesive is strong and you don't have to worry about kind of the poisonous effect of lead tape. Or do you need to work a lot with lead tape and not wash your hands and so on to have any issues. But still, it's, it's a good initiative and it's a solid product. Uh, I've used it on the Prince and a few other rackets. It does look a little bit more out there than lead tape, in my opinion. Uh, depends on what you like. On a black racket, it can look pretty cool. This is how it looks on this Prince and uh, it, it does shine a bit more so depending on the racket it might be a good or a bad thing uh, but it stands out a bit more but yeah otherwise it works just as well as lead tape so uh, it's been a solid experiment with that one another uh, interesting tool i received is uh, not this racket because i reviewed this one already it's the solinko white out a good racket uh, wasn't quite as excited about this one, although maybe some players are, which is the blackout, but there are two interesting new rackets from Solinko. And if you want more weight added to the handle of the Solinko rackets, they now have a 10 gram butt cap that you can replace, so you get some more weight. This is not a unique idea, Doné has done it, I think Head has done it in the past, but it's not so widely used anymore, so uh, I definitely think it should be uh, from pretty much all brands, because if you want to add weight to the handle, in an easy way, this is perhaps as easy as it gets. Uh, so all you need to do is open up here. Uh, where is my trusted all when I need it? It's in the stringing room. All right, so uh, you can take a screwdriver or whatever, but uh, you just open up the so-called trap door here uh, to the end cap, because people don't want to say butt, but it's butt cap in my mind, but it's an end cap from some brands. Just open it up, it falls out like this. As you can see with the Solinko rackets, they're already filled here in the handle, which many other rackets are as well. So it's not as easy to add silicone, for example, or any other like white tack, blue tack weight in the handle because they're already filled with foam as it looks like here. Uh, let's check the other one too. I think they will both be filled. No, so uh, this one is not filled. So it's good for you to know. The, the white is and the black one is not. Uh, for some reason, I don't really know why, but we can remove one of those and we do the unwrapping of this huge parcel here. So it's 10 grams. The question is then, of course, how much does this weigh? And it feels like it doesn't weigh even more than one or two grams. Uh, well, let's uh, turn around and put it on the head three in one machine. They're now working on a head four in one machine uh, that I would rather want, but okay, that's what it is. It's not a exactly a, a 10 gram edition. Okay. It is installed and uh, it's added weight and it's made the racket naturally then more balanced towards the handle compared to how it was before. Uh, so a good idea, very easy, nothing fancy. Other brands could easily do this. That's another way to add weight. Then I can add the copper tape or regular lead tape or tungsten tape to the head to increase the swing weight. This does not increase the swing weight, it only increases the static weight and makes it a bit more head light, meaning more weighted towards the handle. Uh, if you wanna add swing weight, you need to add it somewhere in this region, because then it's gonna add swing weight. The most swing weight up here at 12. I've done other videos about that. I will do more videos and a course about all this stuff coming up. So uh, watch this space and please subscribe to my newsletter if you want news. I rarely send out newsletters, so don't worry about spam. I only do it for special occasions. There was another weight product I mentioned in the video, um, and they're in this small bag. Looks like I'm a, some kind of a drug dealer, but I'm just a tennis dealer. That They had these weight modules, which is pretty much a, a heavy dampener. So this was about two grams. Well, yeah, 1.8 gram each. And what I did for the experiment, I took, we can take any racket, this racket, and I added them here, three and nine. You can also add them at 12. To the sides like this, like a dampener, to increase the swing weight and the weight, of course. And just adding a few grams to a racket will change quite a bit of how it plays. So 
Uh, if you tinker, which is fun, don't get too lost in tinkering, but it looks like this now. Headphones on the side. So I tried this and uh, it did feel heavier than if I would have added the same amount of weight in lead tape. The wind resistance is also increased by this. I'm not sure if it increases the swing weight more, but it sure feels like it's slower through the air uh, with these uh, QP Tennis modules. I think this is a good thing to just experiment, to try and see, I wanna add you know, X amount of grams here, how will it affect playability? You can try that. I don't think it's any kind of permanent solution for you who want to add more weight to the racket. Because also what happened is when I was playing with this, this is, is sliding a bit, you know, around like this. So I don't find that to be, it's not falling off. It didn't fall off, but it, but it did slide around a bit and it's gonna change a little bit the wind resistance and yeah. Uh, for testing if weight is gonna be your thing, if adding weight to this racket is gonna help or whatever, then it could be a good idea, but as kind of a replacement for lead tape or copper tape, it's not gonna be uh, so good in my opinion. Those are some options to add weight to your racket, add power, add stability, uh, but you will obviously reduce maneuverability in some ways when you add weight. Uh, if you add weight to the head, try always to counterbalance in the handle if you wanna maintain balance. I will do more stuff about this. Are there any questions about customization? Let me know. If you really want to become a customizer, like a professional customizer, check out my friend Nikki's courses from Unstrong Customs. Link in the description. He's, he's a good customizer and he knows the ropes. Uh, I do it more for my personal use, uh, so I can tell you about that, but he, he knows it from the pro level. So um, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my affiliates, the links are in the description. And uh, please also join me on Patreon, patreon.com slash tennisnerd, where you get more content, unique content, and a chat function with me. That's all, have a nice day, and don't forget to play some tennis.